Boogie. Welcome to Violet's Library, a YouTube series made just for you where we get to read books together. And today we're going to be reading We Were Tired of Living in a House by Liesl Moak Scorpin, pictures by Doris Byrne. And this was one of my favorite books when I was little. So we're going to start with this one. Alrighty, Boogie Bee, get your book ready. We Were Tired of Living in a House. So we packed a bag with sweaters and socks and scarves and mittens and woolen caps. And we moved to a tree. We liked our tree. There was always a breeze in the afternoon that rippled through our roof. Above on a branch lived a speckled bird who sang all day for the sake of a song. And our roof in the autumn turned scarlet and gold. We liked our tree. until we tumbled out. So we packed our bag with sweaters and socks and scarves and mittens and scarlet leaves and gold. And we moved to a pond. We liked our pond. We built a raft and floated about among the reeds and lily pads. Below fish darted, dragonflies above, and pond frogs sang with us on summer nights. We liked our pond. Until we sank. So we packed our bag with sweaters and socks and scarves and scarlet leaves and gold and a frog who was a particular friend. And we moved to a cave. We liked our cave. We slept on beds of cool green moss. We hunted for blackberries in the woods. We dipped our water from the brook and roasted walnuts over a fire. When we weren't busy, we explored. We liked our cave. Until we met the bears. So we packed our bag with sweaters and socks and scarlet leaves and gold and a frog who was a particular friend and precious stones that caught and held the sun. And we moved to the sea. We liked the sea. We built a castle on shore from salty water and warm sea sand with turrets and towers and moats about. We hunted for treasure and dove in the waves and slept to the pleasant songs of the surf. We liked our castle on the shore. But the tides kept washing us to sea. So we packed our bag with sweaters and scarlet leaves and gold and a frog who was a particular friend and precious stones that caught and held the sun and seashells singing like the surf. And we went home to live in a house. That's the end of this book, Boogie. I'm going to have another episode where we're going to read another book together. So stay tuned.